What's up guys, it's Jackpot G Lars. I'm out detecting. I'm at the Portuguese place we like to call it. It's where Joe got the Portuguese half real. I got a regular half real. Got a bunch of coppers. And I got a few um 1900 silver coins. And um today's one of those solo cleanup missions. So you know what's left. I've been here a few times and Clearly there's stuff left, and I got a silver Washington and Mercury Dime spill, and um, one of the times here, and this is probably like 10, 15 feet from it, I really don't know how I missed this, it was like, a, actually it was kind of choppy, but it was like 90, and guys, we got ourselves a Washington, another one, 1956, the other one was 1963 here, mixed with a uh, 44 Merc, I think. Second Washington here, still stuff. I I um I was thinking maybe it was gonna be a large scent, but I'll definitely take uh, another silver. Awesome. First relic of the night, one of my favorites, a clock winder. Pretty cool. Guys, we just got another coin. It's another copper out of the spot. And it was ringing up 78 to 80. So I know it's going to be a KG. I'm going to just leave it on that dirt clump. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's going to be a KG of some sort. I can't really see much. I think it'll be a KG. So maybe a drape bust. Large scent. Huh. There's a copper. A copper and a silver. I can't believe that actually. <laughs> just got my first flat button of the night I don't even know how I got two coins before a button on day four here that's how it goes sometimes I was just getting this monster high tone really shallow too right under this tree I knew it was going to be a buckle we got a giant buckle that's sweet Guys, yeah, check out this relic I just found. I have no idea what it is. It's like an arrow. And, uh, uh, this. An arrow and... Uh, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's really weird. It's a cool relic, though. Oh, it's got some blue polka dots. Interesting. Oh, I killed one off by accident. Just popped out another beautiful flat button. Second of tonight. It's a nice uncentered shank. Thought I was about to get a button. Just got an Indian. Lots of Indians here. Looks like it might be in good shape. Clean it off at home. Just got another flat button right here. The ground actually over the last hour to two hours is starting to freeze under my feet. Maybe about the top center meter is frozen now. I think I just got another coin, guys. Check this out. It was ringing up like 70 and it was so shallow. It's a kick. Oh my god, it's like a farthing. There's like so many different sizes, like farthings and half pennies. If, if you guys have noticed. Oh, I think we're going to get some detail on it. Oh, it's flaking a bit. That's not too bad. That's a copper. That's a farthing. That's farthing size. No way, I'm right by where I got the farthing last time. Wow. Ma. Oh. Just got another flat button. There it is. I just got another buckle before. There's still so much left. Just got another really old buckle. I might head out of here for now. Probably going to come back tomorrow. There's still so much stuff. Welcome back from the Portuguese place, guys, and day four is still delivering. Um, so much stuff again, this time solo. Uh, 
clean it up. Um, and clearly it's not even close to clean, so that's awesome. It's kind of sad when you clean up places. Um, but even though they're still never cleaned up, you go back and you get like one thing, so. Yep, anyway guys, another fun one. Relics, some buckles, a drawer pull. I like finding the drawer pulls. I seem to find so many of them, so I have a nice like collection of them. Which is um cool relic. And I got like the coolest relic. I don't know what that is. I'll get to it in a second. Um a little watch winder, that's cool. Indian nineteen oh two. Pretty good shape. I know all most of my Indians here are shot. This one um is more of a newer one. We got four flat buttons. A silver quarter. We got a little bit of silver. Which is great. Very shiny. And this is the really interesting relic. So it's like um that. I don't really know. It's gotta be some really old jewelry, and this was in the hole with it. An arrow with stars on it. So I have no idea what that is. And it's like copper, except for like the arrow. It's like something shiny. Um, yeah, but I have no idea what that could be. And I think it would like maybe go on somewhere. I don't really know. I kind of just keep it like that. But yeah. If you guys have any ideas what that is. Very interesting. And we did manage two Kappas today. Two KG2s. Different types though. We got a farthing, which is in better shape than the uh, half penny. Typical um, half penny that you find. You can kind of see the lady on the back. A little bit toasted. This was near the hill, so that ground over there is pretty rough. But yeah, I gotta get this off too. But it like flaked off easy beside this, like stuck to it. But you could see King George under there. And the farthing is flaking a touch. Um, but I'm trying... Not to let it like go. <laughs> but it is flaking a bit. <clears throat> and um, it looks to be 1740. If we can get it, doesn't want to focus on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we got the coins underneath, I think, blocking it. It looks to be 1740. If you can see that. Pretty cool. Pretty decent shape for a farthing. Usually, you just can't even tell. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. Very happy about that. Gentle. Oh. But yeah, guys. Another killer night at the Portuguese place, and we'll be back at it. Um, pretty sure I'll go back the next day. So, it'll be the next video, though. Um, day five here, and day six is a lot of fun, too. So, we'll get to those, and... Uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care. And happy hunting.